Here we're estimating uh, a firm's after-tax cost of debt, possibly to use in a weighted average cost of capital formula. And in this case, we're not given um, information specific to the firm's bonds other than they have a credit rating of triple B. And so to construct our estimate then, we're gonna use information about other triple B debt, so an average uh, yield to maturity of a triple B debt in excess of treasury. So that's the credit spread over 10 year treasury. So we're gonna use that information as well as the current 10 year treasury rate to get to our answer. And so let's start by calculating RD, which is gonna be uh, the pre-tax cost of debt. And so we're gonna think of RD as what we think the yield to maturity on the firm's debt should be. Okay, so what should that be? Well, if 10 year treasuries are currently yielding 6.4% and on average, triple B bonds have a yield to maturity of 5.4% above treasuries, then our estimate for RD is just gonna be the sum of those two. So 0 0.064, so there's the treasury yield plus this credit spread. And so that's 0.118. So that's our pre-tax cost of debt estimate. We are after the after-tax. Recall in the weighted average cost of capital formula, we multiply RD by one minus tax rate, so that's the after-tax cost of debt. And so here, that's gonna be 0.118 times one minus this tax rate of 30%. And the number we're after is 0 0.0826 or 8.26%. So there's the after-tax cost of debt 